Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be reviewing and discussing My Hero Academia Chapter 319. Um, spoiler warning of course before we begin. So yeah, let's jump into it. So the name of this chapter is Friends and we start off with a colored page and it takes place a few I guess months back, well, it would have been a few days after the incident with the big war. Uh, and basically, this is after Midoriya left Iwe and they found the letter he left for them. And this is a color page, of course, and the chapter name is Friends, which I said before. Of course, we should know what it means and what it is about then. Um, so, yeah, um, we start off seeing everybody colored, discussing, you know, basically why Midoriya left, why did he do this, um, and basically this chapter is everyone trying to figure out, you know, why, and they said that they've been asking their mentors, that being, uh, Shoto, Bakugo, and Tokoyami, they asked Hawks, Genius, and Endeavor if they knew anything about Deku leaving at where he may be, but they not budging, they're not giving them any information, they're not telling them anything. Um, but you know, everybody's just upset that who left without saying anything and even this lame letter. So, um, you see the students basically barging to the principal's office, essentially and kinda, you know. They are asking what happened and the principal actually was in on this because we see Endeavor in the room when they barge in and it seems the principal was so moved by the students I guess that he set this up. So we basically get them asking Endeavor what's going on if he's working with um, All Might, what, what, everybody's just trying to figure out why Deku left. <coughs> and we have Bakugo telling Endeavor you know that you don't know the first thing about him. He screwed up in the head. Um, and he never takes himself into account. Um, he always puts others first and that could be dangerous basically. And this seems to move Endeavor or at least the plight of the kids seem to move him. And we see him throw the GPS phone for them and they all dive to catch it. And um, Basically, they ask if they could borrow it, and this leads to them, I guess, trying to figure out where he went or being able to track him somehow. Um, and, you know, this still just shows us more of the kids interacting and the after effects of the war. I mean, because they say, you know, Deku never opened up as much to them and told them certain things. Uh, and this may have been a great burden to him, but you know, he should have still maybe, you know, tell us because we're his friends and we have to look out for him. You know, that kind of stuff. So essentially, the majority of this chapter is just his friends proving to us, the viewers, that they are good friends, real friends, and they want to help. Um, and we get that they have indeed... Um, prepared you as a proper shelter um, to reassure the people and they have a barrier up of some sort I'm not sure what type of barrier because they only mentioned that it's the UA barrier so I'm not sure if it's like a laser barrier a force field what but um, you know this this just basically um is the principles we are saying, you know, um, we protected here, you guys don't need to stay around the school safe, the people here safe, so you go out and do what you need to do to get Deku to bring him back to us, to the school, because they're a big happy family. We then cut now back to where um, the puppet master guy is, I forgot his name already because he's that unimportant, but the villain and Deku, and we see Deck was surrounded by a few people, but we see um, basically all of the U.S. students are there, they have cornered the villain, they've got him frozen in ice it seems, Jiro has him wrapped up, and basically Deck was asking why, 
Unaraka tells him because we're worried and Deku says he's fine so don't worry and to get away from me and Bakugo tells him well you know you're the inheritor um, of one for all or I'll heal you joking of course and and Bakugo asks him but ask him or asks him this and he's like so tell me are you smiling now are you really smiling and we see Deku Ben is said and he says, you know, um, basically, there are reasons he needs to keep going and he wants to preserve everybody's smile. And this leads to him standing up and he tells everyone to get out of his way. And he kind of exclaims it. And um, this leads to a standoff between him and we see Uraraka, um, Bakugo and Ida on one side and... You know, Bakugo tells him, do your worst all might wanna be. Um, Ida, of course, being prefect for the class, says, you know, we knew Midoriya would be the same as ever and stand strong. Or be the same as everyone and for everyone to stand strong. Because I guess they're going to try to take him now and bring him back by force. Kind of like Sasuke leaving the village to get stronger and slowly getting dark. And then they try to bring him back by force. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that. Um, so I'm guessing it may turn off into a mini fight between Bakugo and Deku round 3? I think that'll be round 3. It'll be interesting. Of course, the next chapter is July 18th. Um, so, again, quick chapter. Not much really going on to say um, much because essentially this chapter is basically showing us true friends and how they care about him and Deku being kind of headstrong in his motives and his drive to stop all this without anyone being hit but his friends are trying to tell him well we are your friends we're here for you but he doesn't want that to be hurt like i just said but they still want to help so kind of clashing heads so we'll see where this goes in the next chapter if they battle it out i would like to see um a mini battle though that would be pretty cool to see how strong Deku has finally gotten as well as Bakugo and maybe Shoto and how everyone has improved. So yeah, all in all good chapter. I actually enjoyed this chapter because of the dynamic in it. And I can't wait to see where they go. So far MHA has kind of been hard to predict precisely where it's going because it's no longer like a linear thing. It has curves and turns with the story so I like that. But yeah, all in all, good chapter. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in below in the comments below, down below. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Let me know down below what you all think. Um, so yeah, I'll see you all again. Bye.